Welcome back to Set Streets Needs, guys. I'm Chris Bauer. I'm in front of my 96th Chuck E. Cheese stage visit. This one is in Pasadena, California. This one has a studio. No, this actually has an, a two stage, I believe. Uh, this also has a very unique feature that I'm excited to see. So without further ado, let's get in there and check it out. Hey guys, if you like the t-shirt I'm wearing in today's video, or the shirt I'm wearing right now, then you need to check out 80stees.com. All the shirts I wear in my videos, I get from 80stees.com, and I'm proud that they are a sponsor of Set Streets and Eights. You should visit their site for an overload of nostalgia that will bring back so many fun memories from your childhood. If you were a kid or a teen in the 80s, you will find your childhood favorites like Billy Bob or Chuck E. Cheese, the movies you grew up on like Star Wars or Karate Kid, the games you used to play from Nintendo or Atari, and the bands you used to love like Def Leppard or Motley Crue. Follow the link in the description below to find your favorite childhood memories on a tee. And thanks to 80stees.com for sponsoring this video. stage here in Pasadena they are not working at this time they have had a lot of technical difficulties with currently they are in random movements but as far as performing goes they've had uh, some calls out for tech uh, they just haven't been able to get them fixed or serviced right now due to backups so right now I don't expect to be able to see them perform while I'm here unfortunately I would love to be proven wrong, but this is just what I've heard from uh, uh, an employee. So uh, we'll see uh, if that comes true while I'm here, but that's probably correct. So um, we'll go over the condition of them and we'll go check out the artwork and a unique feature of here that uh, will soon be in most Chuck E. Cheese's in America. So Chuck's fur looks like he's had a nice blowout. I love it. He's so clean. Look at that fur. It's magnificent. He just came from the hairdresser, clearly. He looks awesome. Very nice, love the green shorts. He's the man. I dig it. Very good, how are you? Helen's looking pretty good. No microphone. But she doesn't need one. She's not really singing right now. Again, just like uh, Chuck, we've got Munch, who went to the hairdresser and got a blowout. I love that. His fur looks freshly cleaned and brushed. That's awesome. Jasper's got a little head wound. Not sure what they came from. But uh, he's got his hat. And of course he is shred and cheese which is awesome sitting on a speaker and Pasquale sitting here at the drum of one Duke Liberu again I don't know if the wink works because they're not performing right now I guess your guess is as good as mine whether it worked or not but uh yeah unfortunately also, I just spoke to the general manager, and it doesn't look like they are going to uh, get these guys back up and going until the remodel. It's coming up soon, and uh, since they're not doing the uh, new programming, they're not going to bother with the old show tapes. So, these guys, unfortunately, will just be on random movements until they are done, which, as you guys know, is a stone cold bummer. So as far as the art goes, we got all the generic uh, kids with Chucky around all on one wall on this side of the showroom. Against the back wall, we've got the three giant war halls. Over in the arcade, they've got the Men in Black piece from 99. Hey, how's it going? A good size arcade. 
Ooh, I really like this. They've got all five of the old sassy headshots. Chucky, Helen, Munch, Jasper, and my favorite one, Pasquale. That is awesome. As far as the video games goes, we got our typical fare over here. Alley rollers. And we've got hoops. Mad Wave. The water game. Just have Grand Marshal of Games and Chariot Chuck over here. Terminator and Seawolf. Always love seeing that game. That game's so cool. And we got... Well, yeah, sure was. Thousand Oaks. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. We got plants versus zombies. Cars. Uh, no art on these walls over here. We got Snowcross. That's a cool game. We got Space Invaders. And no art anywhere over here except for the one hockey piece from 99. I don't see the soccer piece though. Anywhere. And that usually goes with it. They got the birthday party game, Galaga, Salt, Sketchbook, King of Cools over there. Over in the store, we got all the new hats, backpacks. Got the new Squishmallows, all the good stuff. So first of the couple new features, check out this Formula One racer. That is amazing. That's the first store I've seen that one at. That is really cool. I've not seen that anywhere else. They've got the hot cocoa. They've got the boat. And of course, we got a high five chip. But the coolest feature is they got the new trampoline house. So these are going to be in every Chuck E. Cheese probably by the end of this year, if not into next year. The trampoline houses, they've put them into a few test markets now. Um, this is the first location I've seen this at. Uh, basically, they're trying to compete with the new trampoline parks that are everywhere, um, which is really cool. They, they're very popular. But uh, as you can see, they're very, very cool. Um, it's a good use of the kid ride section that doesn't get as much play. Um, doesn't make as much money as the big kid arcade, so to speak. Um, and, uh, you know, gets kids active. It's a lot of fun. So who can blame them? Um, I think it's a good use of it. But this is the first one I've got to see it at. I think it's pretty cool. I love the artwork. Uh, they have to have at the back of it. I'll, I'll get a closer look at that. They do have the soccer piece from 99 over here, along with another of the, or maybe this is the first of the Spider-Man, Spider-Chuck. Munch, Helen, Chuck, and we actually have a Bella piece, art piece, over against the wall there, and Jasper. Which, if I'm not mistaken, that's got to be the first piece of actual Bella um, wall art out of Chuck E. Cheese, which is unique. But yeah, it's right over here. That and Jasper. But yeah, that's the first piece of Bella Wall Art that I know of. I don't think I've seen another one uh, there in any Chuck E. Cheese. So that was, that's new. So that and the Squishmallow, they've definitely made her a character that's a part of the canon. 
uh, which she's been a part of the video canon for a long time, so um, that's not that surprising, but it's cool to see her become official in every other way that the rest of the characters have been, so anyway, this is pretty cool, this is the first trampoline zone that I've gotten to see, um, and these are going to be everywhere, so it's pretty neat, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, I know we didn't get to see the two stage perform, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this visit to Pasadena. Um, I always do. They have a few pieces of art, nothing too old. Um, but, you know, there's some stuff. This is a pretty big store. Really big store, actually. So, uh, I wish the animatronics would work before their remodel, but according to the general manager, they're not going to be. So, if you're wanting to see them perform, I think it's the ship has already sailed on that. So, oh well. You can still look at them and stare at you. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed my 96th stage visit. And we'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now. Later, Chuck.